Hey there, my friends, how are you doing? My name is Ashley Bright and I am the Message Fixer. I was watching this video on uh, LinkedIn just the other day, uh, someone I'm connected to who's a CEO, business leader, and they were talking about sort of change management within organizations and how critical it is for the leader of that organization to be leading, to be messaging appropriately to his teams, to his staff, to his salespeople about why this change is necessary and how critical that message that you are sharing is to motivating your teams and getting them to buy in and getting them to do the things that need to happen in order for this change to take place. And so I wanted to put that out there for you entrepreneurs. Your companies are in this early stage, maybe they're evolving, they're maybe a few years in, you've got some staff, you're starting to get the momentum going. But what kind of messages are you sharing within your organization? What does your sales team talk about when they meet with customers? Is it the same thing that you talk about when you meet with investors or you meet with partners? What about you when you have people on your team going out to meet with the press? What are they saying? What about when you go to an industry event, you're asked to speak, do a keynote or come and do a breakout session or something like that. Is the message that you are sharing with that audience the same as the message that your marketing materials are sharing? Is it the same message that the rest of your team is talking about? If it isn't, and I would suspect it probably isn't, then you have a messaging and communications problem. And I say problem because it affects every aspect of your business. And think about each time you go out and speak with a group of people. Each time your sales team goes out and meets with individuals. Each time your customer service takes a call. Each time you put out a press release. Each time you have an investor meeting or a partner meeting. Each one of those is an opportunity for you to make money, which, can you, which you can bring into the organization so you can continue to hire the best people. You can continue to grow your company, improve your product, improve your service, and have bigger impact and bigger success. Or each of those is an opportunity where you lose money, you don't get money. That money does not come into your organization. That money does not help fuel innovation and growth. That money goes to some other company. It goes to some other founder, some other organization. Simply because you, as the leader, didn't recognize the vital, vital role that messaging plays in the success of every aspect of your organization. And so I wanna leave you with this thought. Are you a business leader who can effectively communicate to bring in investment, to increase sales, to build partnerships, to get and retain critical employees and talent? Or are you one who can't? It's as simple as that. And there's really only those two kinds. People that can communicate effectively and lead their teams to success and those who can't. And the ones who can't, we never hear about them because they are out of business, they're on to their next thing because it didn't work. So think about that in your business, think about how you are using messaging and if you need a messaging expert to help you fix all of these messaging problems in your organization, let me know. I'd love to help you be more successful so that Everything in your organization aligns to create success, growth, investment, and you ultimately are the leader that made it all happen. All right, my friends. Cheers.